Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of my variations for The Sharpness of the Tongue Defeats the Sharpness of the Warrior. So this script, developed back in 2011 by me and my friend Lauren Sherman, uses this combination of letter modifiers, which are dots and lines, and letter stems, which are these black circles here. So you have a deep divot with no modifiers, that's a B, you put three dots on it, then it's a D, then you put one line on it. It's a G. And this script is read starting at the bottom and then going counterclockwise, like a time traveler going back in time. Unless we have one of these marks, uh, which denotes where the bottom and counterclockwise is for a word. So this one, I do kind of a little trick, and I put this marker at the top. So this word gets read like this, where everything else gets read bottom, counterclockwise. Uh, and that was to get some symmetry between these two designs. So this one is a far more complicated and fancier design, whereas this one is a very simple design that doesn't use any extra fancy rules. So here's the bottom of this first one, and we start with a TH, a circle on the line of the word circle, and then an E, a little circle on the line of the word circle as well. So the, then we have a two dot shallow divot letter, making an SH, then an A, a little vowel outside the word circle, like that, and then an R with one, two, three dots. Then we have a P with two lines. An N with one line. And then an E inside the N. And then a double line, which makes it a double letter. So that would be a double S. So this is sharpness. And then we have an O and then an F with three lines attached. And then we have a T-H-E. And then we have a T, a shallow divot with no modifiers. O. And then this circle on the line of the word circle has one, two, three line modifiers on it, making that an NG, and then we have a U line going outwards, and then an E, so that would be tongue. Then we have a D, deep divot with three dots, an E centered on it, an F, a deep divot with three lines, then another E, an A outside the word circle, a T, shallow divot with no modifiers, and then another S with three lines on it, uh, just like this S in sharpness. And then we have a T-H-E right in the middle of it, so the, and then we have this word here, it's another word sharpness, sh, two dots, a outside the word circle, r, three dots, p, n, e, double s, just like this, s, h, a, r, p, n, e, double s, so it defeats the sharpness, then o, f, three lines on the f, just like that of, then a t, h, e, and then our last word is a w, a, double r, i, o, r. So the sharpness of the tongue defeats the sharpness of the warrior. And then in this design, I'm actually going to kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, so that way we can see it a tiny bit better. Bam. Because that has a lot more going on. So here we have our first word. We have a TH, a circle on the line of the word circle with an E. So the. And that word the is repeated here, 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 and here. And then we have this word. It is the S with one, two, three lines, H with one, two lines, A outside the word circle, R, shallow divot with three dots, P, one, two lines on a circle inside the word circle, N, one line on it, E on the line of the word circle, and now we have a double line with one, two, three lines attached to it. So these are just the curvy line modifier lines, and because even though there's one on this letter and two on this letter, because they're the same thickness, we know that they're the same letter twice, so we combine the different line modifiers to result in one, two, three line modifiers total. So this would be a double S. And then we have this word. This has a little slash of the vowel. So even though you read consonants first and then vowels, this vowel is before that consonant because of that slash. So that would be the O first, and then one, two, three lines on that F, making it an of. So sharpness of, and that's not exactly the same way as this sharpness of. Um, this is just mirrored uh, because it's like the same thing, but spun around the circle. So S H A R P N E double S and then an O F of the. And here's another the. And then we have a T shallow divot, no modifiers. O oh by the way, lines that pass through things do not count. So this line doesn't count on this T. So T O. Here's another N G one two three lines on the N G. And I've enclosed the U inside the N G with a line going outwards, and then the E. So that's tongue. Then we have a D, deep divot, three dots, E inside that circle, F, one, two, three lines, E, A outside the word circle, T, shallow divot, no modifiers, and this thicker one has one, two, three lines. So unlike this stacked letter stem, this stacked letter stem has two different thicknesses. We have a thick one and a thin one, and you read the thin one first and then the thick one, so that would be the T and then the S. So there's the defeats, another T-H-E, sharpness of the, 
And then our last word, again, starts at the bottom. Here's a shallow divot with one, two lines, so that's a W, A, then a double R with three dots, I, line going backwards. And then we have this R with three dots, but again, here's another O with a slash through it. So that means we read it before the R, so O, R. So W, A, double R, I, and then the O, R. And then this is a period at the end of the sentence. So the sharpness of the tongue defeats the sharpness of the warrior, period. So yeah, that is that. Um, I hope that that makes a little bit of sense, and thank you for watching this explanation video. Bye!